Hello, welcome back to Joel Plays. Uh, I did a video a while ago on how to stream directly from your PS4, and that video really took off. A lot of people enjoyed that it was a, a budget feature of the PS4 that you could stream without a capture card, and you could have chat and your face cam. But today, I wanna to show you how you can stream your PS4 gameplay to something like OBS, and that allows you to use something other than the PS4 camera for a face cam, and it also allows you to do things such as overlays, alerts, uh, all that fun stuff. Uh, so stick around, I'm gonna show you how that's done. Let's roll the intro and jump right into it. So streaming your PS4 to OBS uh, without a capture card, we're gonna use the PS4 Remote Play app on your Windows PC or your Mac, depending on what, what you have. And then we're gonna capture that window in OBS and then we'll be able to stream, add overlays, add face cams, alerts, and other things like that to your stream to make it look super professional. And then again, you don't need a capture card for this. It's uh, budget friendly as well. First thing you are gonna need is you will need a PS4 controller, of course, to play your games. Uh, the difference with this is your PS4 controller is gonna be connected to your PC and your PC is gonna be sending your controller inputs to the PS4, so you won't be playing directly on your PS4, but the latency is almost zero. The next thing you're gonna need is a USB to USB micro cable, and that's pretty much just the charging cable for your PS4 controller. So you're gonna plug the micro USB end into the back of the controller, and the other USB part, you're gonna plug into your PC that you're gaming and streaming from in order to send those inputs to your PS4. Let's get on the PS4. I'm gonna show you what you need to set up and check these settings to make sure that remote play is enabled on your PS4. And then we'll set up OBS, get all that stuff set up and start streaming. So now that we're on the PS4, there's a couple settings we need to check to make sure that uh, the PS4 is capable of remote play. So we're gonna to head to our settings. Uh, we're gonna to go to account management and activate as your primary PS4. Uh, in order for this to work, the PS4 you're streaming from has to be your your primary PS4. If it's already set, uh, at the bottom it'll say this PS4 is activated as your primary PS4 and you're good to go. Otherwise you need to activate it and go through those steps. The next thing you need to check is a setting called remote play connection settings. So in here you need to make sure that enable remote play box is checked. Uh, don't worry about the Vita or the PSTV, we're not streaming to those. So enable remote play is checked. The next setting you need to go to, uh, power save settings. And these are very important. Uh, set features available in rest mode. Stay connected to the internet is the first one you need to check. Uh, that makes sure that uh, the PS4 is always listening to a network connection. If there's any request to turn the PS4 on, you can enable turning on PS4 from network. So these two boxes are extremely important. That allows the remote play app to find the PS4 even if it's not on. And it also enables the PS4 remote app to turn it on. So make sure those two are checked. You have your active uh, PS4 you're streaming from and make sure that remote play is enabled. So at this point, we can just head back to the home menu. We're gonna jump onto the PC and I'll show you how to download and set up the remote play app. Okay, so now that we're on the PC, the first thing we need to do, of course, is download the PS4 Remote Play app. Open a web browser, uh, PS4 Remote Play. We're gonna search for that. Uh, the first thing that pops up should be the correct one. It'll look like this. Uh, then you can choose to download either the Windows version or the Mac version. Uh, go ahead and download and install that application, and then you're set up. Uh, if you do need more information, this is the stuff I'm going through as well. Uh, this page has all the information you need uh, in case you don't want to listen to me anymore, you can go through that stuff as well. So once that is done, you can start the PS4 Remote Play app. It's going to check for any updates. So now here we are. First thing you're going to see is to pair the controller and the adapter. You can use a Bluetooth adapter for your DualShock 4. However, I choose to do wired. Uh, that removes just a little bit more latency. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my PS4 controller to the PC via USB. And then we're going to check out these settings. You can sign into your PlayStation Network if you want to. Uh, that allows you to find your PS4 a little bit easier. Uh, resolution. Now, there are some caveats here. Uh, I do have it on 1080p. However, you'll see that if I change it from 720 to 1080, it'll say it's only available for the 7000 series PS4s, which means that you can only get 1080p if you're using a PS4 Pro. 
uh, for the slim or the original ps4 you're, you're going to be stuck at 720 which is perfectly fine i'm going to use 1080p also note that my ps4 is hardwired to the same network as my pc which is also hardwired if you're doing this over wi-fi you might have uh, worse latency issues uh, you may have some stuttering some buffering going on so if you can I highly suggest you hardwire both your PS4 and your PC to the same network and hopefully that'll mitigate a lot of problems. Frame rate again, uh, I'm using high because I have a fast connection to my PS4 for my PC. If you're having issues, you can always drop that to standard. Uh, that's going to be the, diff the difference between 30 frames a second and 60 frames a second. I'm going to click OK. Now you may have this to where it just says push the options button on the controller to start. I'm going to hit the options button and it's going to search for my PS4. This window will pop up, which is my PS4 on my PC. I mean, that's all there is to it. You can play your PS4 from your PC uh, using your controller attached to your PC and you're good to go. So now that we have a window, let's get this into OBS. So let's open OBS. Now that we have OBS, I'm going to add a new scene. I'll call this PS4 Remote Play. I'm going to add a source. Now the source I'm going to add is actually called a window capture. Uh, you can do display capture, but you're going to get everything on your uh, screen at the same time. Window capture is going to limit it to just the window that you want. So I will call this PS4 remote play window and then ps4 remote play is the one that you want the streaming toolbar is the small pop-up at the bottom of the ps4 remote play window that doesn't get you a whole lot of anything so make sure it is the remote play.exe ps4 remote play and then you'll see that that's captured it looks just like it does on the on the screen I'm going to uncheck capture cursor because if my if I'm playing a game and I move my cursor on my PC, I don't want that cursor coming across the gameplay. Uh, that's totally up to you. I'm going to click OK. Now that I have this window, I can right click on this in OBS, go to transform and fit to screen. And that's that. So from here, I can do whatever I want. If I want to add alerts, overlays, uh, let's just go ahead and add a face cam to this scene to show you. Uh, so now uh, I'm not limited to the PS4 camera. I can use whatever USB camera I want connected to my laptop or PC or whatever. So I'm going to add a video capture device. I already have my Brio uh, installed up here. So I'm going to choose my Brio. I'm going to click OK. And there's my face cam. So I can shrink this down. Pro tip here, if you hold the alt key while you drag the bars, it actually is going to resize the, uh, the captures here. So I can resize that so it's not the full uh, 16 by nine aspect, aspect ratio. You just want my pretty face in there. And I feel like it's weird looking that direction. So I'll go this way. So from here, uh, I do have a video on uh, connecting OBS to Twitch. So I'm not gonna go through that here. Uh, I'll redirect you to that video. I'll put a box up here and also in the description. Now there are a couple things to hear the audio. Whenever you plug in your PS4 controller, it actually changes your audio settings on the PC. So if you right click down here in the bottom right, uh, open sound settings. You notice here that my input device and output device are both to the wireless controller, which I don't want. I want those going to my regular headset and to the desktop audio, which for me is my optical output. So now I'm getting the audio from the PS4. I'm just going to decrease that a little bit so we can hear. We go back to my sound settings. Now, the other cool part about this is your party chat and all that stuff is also going to be available and you can use the microphone plugged into your PC to get your uh, chat audio to the PS4. So that's super simple as well. Uh, my input device is actually my line in. 
So now you see my microphone is going up and down, which is great for sound devices. I can close this. Now, if I go back to my remote play window, if I hover my mouse over it, I get this small little bar here at the bottom. And that allows me to use the mouse to do certain things like hit the options or the share, the PS button. This on the far right here is the microphone from the PC to the PS4. So I'm actually going to unmute that. And you'll see a microphone switch to the microphone on the remote play device. Now, if you're having issues with this, if you go back to your settings, devices and audio devices, you want to make sure your input device when your remote play streaming is set to microphone on remote play device. That's going to make sure that it's not using anything plugged into the PS4. It's actually going to use the microphone plugged into my PC. That output device is normal. So another way you can test this is down at the bottom when I'm speaking, you'll notice that the microphone is lighting up to show that it is listening to me. Another thing you can do is you can check your uh, voice commands to make sure that it's actually hearing you. So I can say PlayStation, take a screenshot. So there you go. You know that now I'm able to speak. My party chat can hear me. The PS4 can hear me and also OBS can hear me because it's set up on here as well. So it's a perfect solution. Doesn't require a capture card. So now if you want to see what something like this would look like, uh, I'm just going to restart my Ghost of Tsushima. And you'll notice that I'm, I've got the remote play window here. And I can keep my OBS up top or whatever. And then I can play and stream. I have my face cam. That's not the PS4 camera. Uh, I have zero, little to no latency uh, on the controller inputs. And I can record, stream to my heart's content. So there you have it, a very smart, simple way to stream your PS4 through something like OBS for a more professional feel than streaming directly from the PS4 itself. Although both are great options and it's fantastic that PS4 has provided those types of solutions for streamers. Again, I will say you do need a decent connection between the PS4 and the PC in order to pull this off. And you will also need decent internet to stream to Twitch or Facebook, YouTube, things of that nature. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. Uh, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. If you look at my past videos, I try to answer every single comment and I try to play tech support for you guys, which is fun for me because I love researching and finding out more information about this stuff or troubleshooting. Uh, I'm not always the best or fastest, but if you have questions, let me know. If you have a video you wanna see, let me know. If you wanna promote your channel, Ask, just ask me before you do it. Uh, normally I don't have a problem with that because I'm trying to build a community here and trying to find like-minded people that are also finding my information helpful, starting on the ground floor, streaming, and I like to see where people go with the information that I give them. The views, the comments, the, it's just the subs, it's unbelievable. Thank you, thank you guys so, so much. I really hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. Obviously, so, so many of you are that you're subscribing, so that's fantastic for me. It really makes me excited to continue doing what I'm doing. And it makes me even more excited about streaming and gaming as well. So thank you again for all watching, subscribing. I love you all. Peace.